too low, but it might be all right. I'll adjust it higher, a little bit higher. This is duck seal, you can get it from Lowe's and uh, just to seal it so there's no water leak. Now this is a green wire that I plug it to the white and gray. There are two white and gray in that side, so make sure you got the right one. Make sure you use a, a voltmeter. I mean, yes, a voltmeter or test light. And put on reverse, it should light up like this. And then put on park, it should be out. So make sure you double check that wire. The other wire, I'm not sure what they're going to. Now for the uh, uh, red, you want to hook it up to the wire that ran to the front and then for the uh, black and red it's a ground you want to hook it up to the black and white right there it's black and white that's a ground or you can just tap it to right there now most vehicle will tell you uh backup that means it's a backup or reverse then on this model it's pink so hook it up to the green wire that hook it up down there to the white and gray and make sure you test it Make sure it's got power when you put on reverse. And I forgot to mention this uh, yellow RCA jack that comes from the back. There's a red wire that I mentioned about hooking up the red together over there in the back. You want to hook it up to this uh, pink, which is that green. Then green will go to the gray and black over there. Uh, tape them up. You don't have to solder them. And on the back of the stereo, make sure you hook it up that say cam in. And back here, I just spray some uh, cleaner, uh, clean it up. I'm going to put this sticker right there in first, and then I'm going to screw it in right there. I usually adjust the little fill up right there, tighten it up a little bit so it, can, so it won't come loose. 